Hey guys, you JX coming air here. Um, today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial for um, some of the newbies out there. I'm um, going to run through how to install Call of Duty from the disk. Um, I'm not going to cover Steam because you know how to use Steam and I don't think Steam is good for mods anyway so I'm going to ignore it. Um, first of all, if, you've, if you're reinstalling you want to make a backup of your entire... if, if you've if you're reinstalling and you've got if you've done some stuff you care about if you've made some maps started some maps whatever I would advise backing up your entire Call of Duty folder into an RAR um, my Call of Duty for folder ended up being about 22 gigabytes with about 280,000 files in it so I made a total backup of it um, I advise you to do the same um, and then what you're gonna want to download once you install the game, you're going to want to patch it. Um, you're going to want to get... It, uh, there's patches all the way to 1.7. Um, but, um, so, let me go ahead and install the game. Get your disk. And, uh... What the fuck? Really? I, I don't think my computer's performance is slow. It's working fucking fine. Alright, uh, go ahead and install. I would advise you if you're using a downloaded copy of Call of Duty that you didn't pay for, I would advise you to buy the game. Uh, not that I'm bashing piracy or anything. Um, but I think if you're going to go ahead and start modding Call of Duty, you ought to pay them for a disc, number one, because modded games tend to have a lot of, or downloaded pirated copies of the games tend to have a lot of issues with the mod tools, and number two, it's no fun if you can't play online with the people that are playing your map that you're releasing, you know. I know you can do land shit and whatever else you want to do, but it's, it's just not as rewarding. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and enter my key here. Let me go ahead and pause the recording. Oh, God. Okay, my installation just finished. Um, so now I need to patch the game. I've already gone... I already have the patches on my computer. Um, and I don't know... You can get them very easily with a Google search. There's... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven patches, 1.1 to 1.7. You want to run them in order. Um, let's see, this is a 1.2 to 1.4, so I guess I don't... I guess you only need to download 1.5 to 1.6. You don't need to download the 1.2 to 1.3. You can get <coughs> 1.0 and then 1.2 to 1.4. 1.0, 1.2... 1.2 to 1.4, and 1.4 to 1.5, 1.5 to 1.6, 1.6 to 1.7. So you can ignore this one, so there's only six you need. So I'm going to go ahead and run those, and then I'll uh, unpause the recording again. Okay, so my game is now fully patched to 1.7, so now it's time to download the mod tools. Um, I don't already have those downloaded, so I'm going to go have to going to go going to have to pause the video and re-download them. But um, here's where you can get your uh, <coughs> downloads. Go to ugxmods.com or look in the description of the video. If you go to ugxmods.com, you go to the wiki. And then from the wiki, you click Mod Tools Download Links. And then here's all four Mod Tools versions. And then also you need to get Sniper Bolts, Fixed Files, and Test Map. So go ahead and download those. I'm going to do the same. Okay, so... I've downloaded the mod tools, version 1.0, 1.2, <coughs> 1.3, and 1.4. So what you want to do is you want to do this in the order I say. You start with the first one that's a, that's a gigabyte. Go ahead and open it with WinRIR. It might take a minute to open. There's a lot of files.
excuse me. There we go. Okay, so once it's done opening, <coughs> you'll see all these <coughs> folders. Um, what you want to do is you want to select all of them, and then you want to go into Call of Duty World at Wars, Program Files, Folder, this path. Uh, if you don't have a 64-bit computer, then you won't see this x86 right here. It'll just be Program Files. And then once you're in the, your root, you're going to want to drag all these <coughs> folders and drop them into that directory. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and resume it when this is finished since the other extraction took way too long. <coughs> okay, so the first bunch of modules just finished copying in, so I'm going to go ahead and close that now, and I'm going to go back to the folder where I have them all saved and open the 1.2 go in that folder and do the same thing again, select them drag them in here and if it ever asks you if you want to replace files just click yes to all this won't take that long so I'll go ahead and just let it finish so do this for all current items, yes do this for the next 151 conflicts, move and replace. Okay, that one's finished. And then the 1.3 and the 1.4. Lastly, you just do the same thing over and over, replacing the files as it asks. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll resume the video once I'm finished. Okay, so now all those f I'm done with all the mod tools. They're all copied in here. All the files are replaced. So now I'm going to open the Sniper Bolt version 2 RAR, which is right here, number 5. And then um, you can look at the README. Whoops, wrong, wrong, <laughs> wrong RAR. Um, let's open that. There it is. Go in the tutorial folder, and then go ahead and um, open your Call of Duty root again. Same same place as last time for all the mod tools. Select them all, drag them in, and basically what this is is. Um, Go ahead and click uh, close on that error. Basically, um, some of the file, some of the scripts and CSV files were screwed up when um, Treyarch released them. Um, so this is this is a fix for those, and it's also a test map for you to s screw around with. Go ahead and click yes for all, and go ahead and click do this for the next however many conflicts move and replace. and click skip for anything I can't find and then you're done the mod tools are all installed